Oh, Jesus. Uh. Had to be done. Yep. Yeah. I did it. I bought a Manchester City top. <sighs> I just, uh, I just, I, I did it. I spent my hard earned money on a Manchester City top. Can you believe that? Like, oh, oh, like seriously, like that is like the that is the ultimate embarrassment of my life. Like, no, it's not even embarrassing. It's just wrong. It's just like everything I stand for is just out the window. Because you want to know why I bought the city kit? I'll get to that in a second. I and yeah, I know, I know. No excuse will make up for me buying a city kit, but there is a reason why I did it. And that I'll get to shortly, but this is a continuation. This is like a part two of uh, me being at the hotel, uh, chasing Cristiano Ronaldo, trying to get him to sign the top. I really want him to sign my Man United top. You know, the Champions League final, yeah. I don't know if you can see this. There's no signature on here. There's nothing. There's nilch on the back. There's zilch on the front. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, let me get to um, what happened part two of the story of the hotel. So, I'm back at home now, by the way. It's been a couple of days since um, that night. So, that night, you know, I was with Cristiano Ronaldo in the elevator and I proper Bottled it, don't worry, that's, you know, we've seen him again in an elevator, this time he kicked us out, so... That's all right, that's all good. We said we're gonna go wait outside of the hotel and when they go to training, we're gonna get his signature because he does this like nearly every single morning. Training's about 10 o'clock in the morning. The players get on the bus about 9.30. So I, I said to my mate Jordan, who was at the hotel with, we said, right, let's get at the front of the hotel <clears throat> before 6. So we woke up at like 5.30, like 5.45. We were itch, freezing our balls off at the front of this hotel. It was like raining a little bit. It was drizzling. It was so cold. We were like, <sighs> all right, we got like three hours, four hours, however long it was like this. And we were basically like one of the first ones there. There was like, I think there was like another two people there, but we were like second and third. We had primed best position right at the front, right near the door. He opens the door. Bang, Ronnie, sign me top, mate. Please, just a quick, just a scribble. Just don't even look. Just, just make contact with this shirt and I'll be happy. Anyways. Time comes, 9.30, mate, it, this street is packed. This hotel, there is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. And me and my mate are right at the front. Players start to come out. I can't remember who was the first one out, Modric. Benitez came out. Benitez was half decent. He was signing tops. He was speaking to the fans, you know? That was pretty cool, you know? And he was doing all right. Next thing you know, door opens, bang, Ronaldo. Straight away, Ronnie, Ronnie, sign my top, sign my top. Straight past he walked, not even a flick of emotion, hopped on the bus, see you later, training. And I was just like, you're kidding me. You are kidding me. Seriously. Come on, man. Oh, broke my little heart, broke my little heart. 
By this stage, we had to check out the hotel. And we were like, what do we do now? Go home? Go home? And Jordan's like, yeah, I'll go home. I don't know. What I... And then I said, come on, man. We've come this far. How about we just keep waiting here until they get back from training? Let them go to training. Let them do what they're going to do. They've got to come back. So we were prepared for another three-hour wait or whatever it was. And we said, you know what? Stuff it. We've waited this long. We've spent all this money at the hotel. You know, 600 bucks a night and whatnot and all the rest. And oh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Yes, we did it. We waited three hours or whatever long it was. Again, it wasn't much of a crowd when the players went to training. But slowly, slowly, people came again. People came again. And because it was like, you know, one or two in the afternoon, there was more people than before. And we had better spots. We were right at the front. The bus comes around the corner. Yes, this is our chance. All the players coming off. Ronaldo, one of the first players off the bus to go back into the hotel. Ronnie, so I'm on top. Ronnie, Ronnie. I'm like literally, because I'm a pretty, so I'm like six foot three, six foot four. I'm like reaching over at him. So close to touching him. So I'm on top. This guy just walked past everyone. No, no, no. Just, no. <laughs> Didn't give us stuff. And just walk straight in the hotel. And I was so... I just wanted to get my top and just throw it at him. I was like, man, this is so heartbreaking. I know he's like, you know, best player in the world and that and whatnot. But so heartbreaking. I was just gutted. Just gutted because all the time I've spent, not just those two nights. I've been at the hotel, you know, for training before and after. Waiting for a signature. Uh, nights I've been waiting outside the hotel. I was at that... I'm basically living at that hotel just as long as he was. You know, just waiting for a signature, you know, but... But yeah, Ronaldo did not sign my top. So, when they go back inside the hotel, we went back inside to check out. And as we seen um, the players, Jordan called me over. He goes, hey, hey, there's a signing session inside the hotel. I'm like, sweet signing session? Yes, yes, pump. And I look, and there's Ronaldo, Pepe... You know, Modric, all the players are going in to this room. There's a long ass table. There's all these chairs. There's all these, mate, there's all these, I'm thinking, oh, signing session. Yes, yes, yes. There's a massive queue. We go there. It's a signing session for like suits. You know, you have to be the chief executor of Telstra or Optus or Adidas. You know, you have to be, you know, someone very big in a massive company. You need this special pass. And we tried to get in, could not get in. You know, especially me, I had a United top on, so I, I wanted a United top signed, so it wouldn't have been easy for me to get my stuff signed, because I didn't want Ronaldo, and... But lucky for my mate Jordan, someone from, uh, I think it was Telstra, some guy in a suit, took his top and uh, signed Jordan's top all over, and yeah, Jordan got a heaps, heaps of signatures, so fair play to him, but me, my Ronaldo top... Did not get signed, and I was so gutted. I just wanted to cry. On the way home, I was just like, it was like a roller coaster. It was like the highs were high. Like I literally touched Ronaldo. I got to see him, you know. But at the same time, I was invading his privacy. I didn't want to ask him a nagging for a signature when he's like in his own home hotel room or in the elevator, you know. I just, I don't know. But I just wanted to get it done properly, and it never happened. And I just wanted to cry. I just so gutted, man. Like. My childhood hero, man, just ever since I was 16. I'm 28 now. Since I was 16, I've loved Ronaldo. When he was 18, you know, just, oh, man, just, what do you do? That doesn't explain the reason why I was buying a City top. Right, so let's get to the night of the actual game that I was going to see. Real Madrid versus Manchester City. Now, I was pretty lucky. It was pretty decent in the sense that I had, I was connected with my ticket. So I had very, very good seats. I was basically right at the front when the players walked in on the entrance. You know, there were decent seats, and in the section I was sitting in, you had to be dressed up to be suave. You know, you couldn't just wear your trekkies and your runners. You had to actually dress up to be in the section. So that's no problem. I was dressed up. 
Now, for this occasion of the, this video, this is exactly what I was wearing. Now, you have to understand, it was raining, it was freezing, so I was in a nice top, I was in a nice jacket, and I was wearing a nice scarf as well. Yes, I kid you not. A Manchester United, Cristiano Ronaldo scarf. I didn't care. I just wanted to wear it. And this is how I was. Dressed like this, ready for the game, all pumped about. So... Got my ticket, about to go into the ground. Now, let, let me tell you something, there's 99,000 people at this ground. There were so many people, it was so hard to get in and out. But, as I'm putting my ticket in, the security guy at the front goes, Sorry mate, you got a, you got a collar? And I'm like, yeah, 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 try to keep walking. He grabs me from behind, nah mate, do you have a collar? I said, what are you talking about a collar? He goes, you need to have a collar into this section. You need to be wearing one to get in here. I said, are you serious? I said, look at me, I'm dressed up real good, man. These are like $200 jeans, man. And he goes, no, you need a collar to be in this section. He goes, go to the merchandise store and buy a collar. I said, are you serious? He goes, yeah, I'm not joking. I said, oh my God, what a wanker. I said, you can't even see my collar anyways. I'm going to be wearing a scarf. I don't care. Go get one. Oh. So I said, stuff this. I'm going to go around to the side. I'm going around to the earliest gate and try and get in that way. So I went in. Put my ticket in, the guy said, you're wearing a collar, mate? I said, yeah, 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 look, I kept walking. He let me through, and then, sweet, I'm in, yes. Someone pulls me up, hey, mate, I saw you from before, go buy a collar. Go to the merchandise store, and buy a collar. And I was just like, oh my God. Right, let's just go do this. Let's just go and freaking do this. So I'm just, just so living. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about like all this money I spent at the hotel, couldn't get a signature from Ronaldo. All the time hours wasted. Now I'm at the game. I can't even get in the game because I don't have a freaking collar. All right, so I go over to the merchandise store. So what do I see? I see Real Madrid stuff. I see Manchester City stuff. And I see Roma stuff. Now, Roma stuff was hardly there because they've already gone home. And, and there's no chance in the world I was going to get a Manchester City anything. Anything. So I go to the Madrid section. I said, all right, I'm having a look. I'm looking, there's about, there's probably about 20 Real Madrid shirts there. Not one single top had a collar. Go to the Roma section. Not one single top had a collar. Go look in the City section. There was only one top that had a collar. And that was the kits, their official home kits. And I was just like, nah. Nah, not happening, not happening, I'm not doing that, not doing that. So I waited in the queue, waited and waited, got up to the merchandise things. I didn't want to spend any money as well. I've just spent so much money this week. Like, we're talking from the match day tickets to the tickets and buying a suit to, the, the you know, the money to, like, staying at the hotel. Like, I'm past a thousand bucks here this week, you know what I mean? Like, mate, I don't want to spend any more money. Get to the front, the girl goes, what can I have? I said, can I please get anything with a collar that's not Manchester City? She goes, oh, sorry, the only thing we have with a collar is the Manchester City home kit. And I was just like, <sighs> nah, nah, not doing it, not doing it. And then, and then I was with my brother, and I'm just thinking, nah, nah, nah. And then I'm just thinking to myself, I can't go home, the game's about to start. The time I go home and come back, it'll be like an hour and a half, the game be over. I'm like... Nah, there's no way I'm missing out on this game. No way. There's like, I've never seen Ronaldo play in my own eyes. Like, nah, I have to. I have to go to this game. I have to do it. And it was my only option. My only option. And I would, I would never normally do this. But in my one and only hope to see Ronaldo, I thought, stuff it. Stuff it. I'm just going to buy a City top. And what was worse than spending my hard-earned money on it and receiving this thing, I had to wear it to through the gate. I had to put it on underneath this top. Put it on underneath to show the guy I was wearing a collar. Oh my god, that was the worst. Dang it. Went straight through the gates, took it off in the toilet, but... I had to wear a city top, man. Like, that, that is like... Oh my god, I just actually did that. That was like, that is like the ultimate. That is the ultimate. Like, like I said before, wet highs and lows, like a roller coaster this week. Meeting Ronaldo, wearing a city kit. It was just, oh, <laughs> I can't believe I did that. But, for fun and laughs, 
I'm gonna go burn this top right now. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Relax, relax, I'm not gonna burn this top. I thought about doing something funny like that on YouTube. I thought, you know, should I burn this? You know, should I do a burnout on it? Should I do it? And I thought to myself, you know what, in all honesty, there's probably a guy out there who loves City as much as I love United and who probably can't afford a shirt. So I'm gonna do the right thing, the right thing, and I'm not gonna sell it on eBay or anything like that. I'm actually gonna give it away to a proper City fan who actually loves Man City. So um, that's what I'm going to do with this top. I'm not going to sell it. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to properly give it away to a proper, proper fan out there. So uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do with it. And that was my experience with Cristiano Ronaldo and the game. Mate, proper seats. Like, we were so close. Ronaldo, mate, he was on our wing for most of the game. <laughs> So yeah, that was my Cristiano Ronaldo experience. I just want to say sorry guys, I didn't upload much this week. That was because, as you can tell, I had a massive busy week. And somehow I had work in between then. I was literally going to work, going to the hotel, back home for you know a night's sleep, going up to go to work, back to the hotel, back to you know the hotel again when I woke up, and then back work in the afternoon. It was all over the place. Lads, I'm sorry. Mate, Premier League is back next weekend. This week, I'm going to sort out the um, the Fantasy Premier League Cash League. So make sure, uh, let me know if you're interested in that. I've got to be sorting that out before the Premier League starts, obviously. So keen for that. And yeah, uploads should be going back to normal from this week onwards. But yeah, I'm your boy, Kenneth Seven. Back on YouTube, hopefully doing normal videos. Take care and peace.